Hey everyone, Instructor Brooks here, and this is the first video in our series on learning misconceptions. What you're going to find out through this series is that there's probably a lot of the uh, strategies that people think are effective for learning are not, and you probably do them. But hey, it's not a big deal because, every, well, it is a big deal that everyone does it, but it isn't a big deal because, hey, everyone does it and we don't know any better, but I'm going to show you the research that shows you how to study uh, correctly and not fall into these fallacies and illusions of learning. So if you're ready to dive in, let's go. So since you're ready to dive on in, let's take a look at the illusion of repetition. So what is this illusion? Well, this illusion is when students go over material multiple times, but it doesn't necessarily result in learning. Now, this doesn't mean that repetition is bad. So let me give you an example of what isn't effective. So here's your example scenario. It's the night before a big exam. You sit down to study and decide to go with your go-to study strategy, which is pretty much everyone's, which is to highlight and underline your notes that you've already taken, followed by just kind of staring at your notes, thinking and hoping that you will just have them memorized in your head. So in 2009, a study that asked undergraduate students to list their most common study strategies, 83.6 listed rereading notes or textbooks as their go-to strategy. And this is not effective. There, and people could say, hey, well, I learned that way. Well, okay, fine. Maybe you can learn that way, but uh, it's not effective. It's not a good use of your time. So why does this hinder success? Because like I just said, some people think that they're actually being productive, which they're not. And a lot of times you're not even learning. So you're, even if you did learn, you're not productive. So you're wasting time. And I tell you right now, it's definitely going to lead to a failure of retention, which we'll continue to talk about throughout this entire series. So the majority of students study by rereading notes and textbooks, but the psychologist research, both in lab and of actual students and cases, show this is a terrible way to learn. And I agree. Um, I asked, I've asked my students before, I see them just staring at the book, and I'm like, do you have a photographic memory? And they're like, no. I'm like, well, then what are you doing? You can't take the photo with your eyes. It doesn't work for you, and that's all you're doing. So what study strategy should you be doing? If you're like, well, Instructor Brooks, I mean, if I'm not allowed to read or reread my notes, well, I'm not saying you can't, but understand if that is your sole mission uh, and activity, then that's not effective. So you have to do something active. What could you do uh, to be active? Well, really simple. The next time you go to study for an exam, get out a sheet of paper that's blank and just write as many things down as you can remember. You'll be surprised at what you do and don't remember because when you have uh, blank spots on the page, then it definitely means you don't know the information enough and you need to go back and study it. So that is an easy, easy thing to do. I do it with all my students all the time. We go through blank paper like it's going out of style. We're just constantly getting our thoughts down on paper. So if you liked what was in this video, but you want more of this uh, with the uh, actual strategies uh, from me, my specific lessons, then you need to become a member of the Instructor Brooks YouTube channel. And that is pretty easy. You just go to instructorbrooks.com, click on join, and boom, right there. See that join button? Uh, and then you become a member of our campus. So hey, join. Catch you in the next video.